Hola, hey amigos, my hello. Today I'm going to paint a nude self portrait. <laughs> but first things first, though, this is inspired by a video series by Cut. Cut is one of my favorite YouTube channels, and the whole premise of the video is that they get people to paint nude self portraits and they talk about their relationships with their bodies. Now, I thought it was such a genius and uh, quite therapeutic, if I may add. Now, for the past few days, I've been just inside my apartment recuperating because I was a little under the weather. And uh, I rediscovered that video. The first video was with Isla Dizon, my Filipino queen. Shout out if you're watching. I'm a big fan, aside from being a big fan of Cut. And, uh, well, I paint. It's one of my hobbies. I do not paint as much as I used to. Probably I do. I make, like, one or two paintings in a year. And uh, I have no qualms dropping trout, to be honest. So, it's just totally right up my alley. So, hali, mag paint na puta. So, now I have all my material set up. I have my acrylic paint, my paintbrushes, my blank canvas, and most importantly, my tasteful nude that I'm going to be taking inspiration from. And yes, there is such a thing. Okay? Uh, I'll show it to you guys. There you go. So I took it when I took a hike. This was in Blue Water Cave in Bukid Non. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> now I'm planning to just do a very quick painting. Probably, hopefully in just 30 minutes. Now I'm a little bit scared because I haven't done any acrylic painting for like the past couple of years. I've been doing gouache a lot lately now. I'm hoping this will just turn out Okay, now the truth is, I think I should focus more on the whole experience and the whole process and not about the outcome, right? Because painting is one of the most very therapeutic and uh, calming uh, hobbies there is. Okay, so here it goes. So I can still uh, vividly remember this hike. Uh, I could not remember uh, what year it was, I think. This was just a couple of years ago, probably two years. Now, I arrived in Blue Water Cave around 4 p.m.-ish. Now in the Philippines, we usually have our, our sunset um, in between 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. I was, I was just so lucky that uh, when I went there, there wasn't anyone around. I was the only one left because I think it was on a Friday and uh, nobody would do hikes on a Friday afternoon. So I'm at the entrance of the Blue Water Cave now and um, in a few minutes I'll be going to the cave. But there's going to be a short trek on the way there though. been meaning to go to that place for such a long time already and I was like you know what F it I'm gonna head there even if it's gonna be uh, dark soon but it was actually I think on a summer so normally during summer our sunset would reach up, up, up to I think around 6 30 ish and um, it was just such a magical experience because when I was hiking alone, I was really scared because, um, no, there's sometimes we make stupid decisions. <laughs> we, when we are already halfway, we, we tend to realize that, like, oh my god, what I did, why did I just do this alone? Because, like, part of the trek it was, was a bit steep, wherein you just have to just pray. <laughs> And I was up, I wanted to give up. It's just that I was already halfway there. I felt like I should not give up. It was also a bit eerie. But you know what? It was like a high risk, high reward situation. When I went, when I saw the Blue Water Cave, I was like, oh my God, 
there was just this freshwater um, spring under a cave and it was during the golden hour. And uh, so I took a dip, I enjoyed the water. And uh, funny thing is, is that the freshwater spring is very blue, but right, right outside, it, um, it flows towards the Pulangi River and Pulangi River is very brown. <laughs> Just doesn't make sense. But it was, it was magical. And uh, also, since it was the golden hour, I wasn't really planning to do, like, uh, take a picture of myself in the nude, in the buff. It, it's just that there was no one around and uh, the lighting was just amazing. You know what, guys? Like, golden hour, it, just, it's, it was just such a perfect timing. And I was like, you know what? It would be a disservice to myself and to the sunset if I do not... Um, fully utilize it to its full potential. So at first I did a little bit of some pictures. Of course, I always bring a tripod with me. Then I was like, you know what? No one's here. So might as well just drop, drop chow. And uh, that, that's how I got the very tasteful nude. And that's how you do it, guys. <laughs> This is not supposed to be overly done. This is supposed to be like quick painting, so I should not <laughs> put too much pressure in myself. Now, the thing about me and dropping trowel is that once you reach a certain age, you just don't really have qualms about it. Um, I was not really the most confident teenager there was. I think most teenagers aren't really confident, right? But uh, for a Filipino, I'm a bit quite, I'm quite taller than the uh, typical Fili typical Filipinos of my age. So it took a while to get used to my growth spurt. And for a while, I would hunch my back and I was like so lanky and I had like a really bad acne. And I wasn't just confident at all. Then I think, you know, what happens is that as you get older, you become more and more confident in your own skin and uh, I think once you reach like your mid your mid 20s you become more and more confident and comfortable and uh I would never forget the first time I did skinny dipping. It was in my favorite beach somewhere in Negros, and I was with my Scandinavian friends. Now, the thing about you know Scandinavians and uh, Europeans, Northern Europeans, is that they're so they just don't really care about you know going in the buff, being the nude. And I'm like, you know what? F it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with you know being naked. So it was a one kilometer stretch of beach. And uh, we were drinking at this at this bar somewhere. I forgot the name. And we decided to go back to our uh, Airbnb. And we were like, you know what? Let's do skinny dipping. And we did that. And we walked. There were three of us. We walked from the other end of the beach to the other end with nothing, with nothing on. And I was like, it was like the most liberating experience ever. Now, that was my first. And... Uh, Certainly wasn't my last. Now, eventually, I became more comfortable with skinny dipping, especially, I guess, when I'm with my uh, European friends. I guess uh, they're more, they're more open-minded to those kind of things, and it's not even sexual at all. You know, being in the nude, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. But of course, you just have to make sure that you're in a place where it's okay, and there, or there's no one there, because at the end of the day. Like, let's say in the Philippines, it is still quite taboo to go in the nude, to go in the buff, right? Now, my relationship with my body has grown from a love-hate relationship from my teenage years to just, you know, pure self-love now that I'm older. Uh, do I care if I don't have abs? No. Uh, I just care about my health. And uh, honestly, I wasn't really taking good care of my health before. Um, 
my parents are not really overweight and uh, they've always been skinny. So I think I was just like lucky to have been born to parents that have that kind of genetic makeup. And uh, I don't know, I think it just, I just had a wake up call four years ago when suddenly my, what do you call that? I was a little bit hypertensive. My, uh, I, uh, I had a high blood pressure. It wasn't high, it was borderline. And my doctor was like, dude, you really have to you know, get it together. Make sure you eat healthy. Make sure you do exercise. Because I never really exercise. I was always this skinny fat guy. I was skinny all over and I have like fat in certain areas. I never had abs. Ever since when I was a kid, I was like in, in, in Bisaya, we call it Posuno ni Gaiko. I, I always had this fat in my belly area. Now, do I want to have abs? Maybe. I mean, when I was a kid, one of my favorite songs was this song by Peter Andre. It's called Mysterious Girl. And I'm such an island boy and I really love that song. And every time I hear that song, it always puts me into like, you know, an island mood of such a very good mood. It's, I love that song. And uh, when I first saw it, I was like, holy. So is that how guys should look like to have abs? And I was like, maybe when I get older, maybe, maybe I should, you know, aspire to have abs. Then eventually I saw uh, this video of Lenny Kravitz. American woman and that was like the first music video by Lenny Kravitz that I saw and he had this pier piercings all over his body and he had a nipple piercing and I was like you know what if it I'm not gonna be Peter Andre I'm gonna be Lenny Kravitz because that's a cool guy right there that's a guy that I want to be you know when I grow up and uh truth be told when I turned 27 I had my first uh nipple ring and uh for, for a while, I had two nipple rings, then something happened, the other one just got caught somewhere, and uh, I lost it, and I thought I lost my nipple too. Thank God my nipple is still intact, so I th I'm thinking I'm just going to keep this one nipple ring, and I'm not going to have another nipple ring, like on my, oh, this is right, right, yeah, this is my right chest, yeah, so team Lenny Kravitz all the way. But, you know, I still love the Peter Andre song, Mysterious Girl. <laughs> What's my take on, like, the Filipino standard of beauty? Well, I know it can be quite difficult for females. It's because it's very, you have this very strict definition of, you know, beauty in the Philippines when it comes to females and for males, not so. But it's just that I also know for a fact that um, a lot of people wouldn't want to have my color because they think that, you know, being brown is not ideal. And at the end of the day, for me, it's all about knowing your market. And uh, I've always been confident in, in my color. I love my color. When I go to the beach, I always do tanning. I always bring with me a tanning lotion, SPF4. And my European, friend, my European friends would always laugh at me. I mean, like, what? who would use... An SPF 4 tanning oil, right? And I'm like, does it work? Yeah, of course it works. And uh, I don't get burned that much. And I love that. And um, it's all about, I think, you know, accepting who you are and knowing what you can offer. And at the end of the day, I, I never really put high prime on beauty. Because for me, uh, the brain has always got to be and should always be the biggest sex organ. And if you're intelligent... You're very kind and uh, with such a killer personality, I think that's, that's a killer combination right there. And you could be the most beautiful but not, not be kind. And uh, I I've met some of those people and uh, they were quite a turn off. And um, like example would be, you know, people who are not really nice to the wait staff. And the minute I meet like a person who treats a wait staff really in a der derogatory way, I'm like, you know what? I'll just cut you off from my circle. I don't want to be you no know, part of your of your world. So I'm almost done. <laughs> this is like 
<laughs> an abstract painting. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I think I just made a mess. <laughs> oh my god. I think it was already okay then. I, just, I added more layers and I'm like, oh my god, what did I do? <laughs> my life once I'm trying to fix this mess uh, let's talk about what would I tell my younger self uh, no no may maybe just like this painting right here um, life is as life is a series of missteps and uh, you will just learn along the way how to love yourself how to improve yourself and uh, how to be a better person not just it doesn't mean just because you have a better body it means you're a better person and at the end of the day it's always you know what's the inside that's more important and uh yeah i'm done <laughs> oh, okay so here it is and okay i have to remind myself this is more of you know just enjoying your process and uh, it was actually good you know talking to you right i also urge you like if you have time maybe you, you only have to paint maybe just use uh, crayons or color pencils and you do that and this is quite therapeutic to be honest okay so here it is oh my god <laughs> don't laugh <laughs> there you go <laughs> Oh, okay, definitely not my best painting. So, but you know what? I really enjoyed our session today. So, tagang salamat sa pagtanaw. And thank you so much for, for watching and spending some of your time painting with me. Okay? So, hantun sa sunod. And I'm sending you warm hugs and sunshine. Choose.